This video is an initiative taken by NSS Target J, Keat University. It will be an introduction lecture on the topic structure of an atom. Before we begin, let us revise what we already know. That is, what is an element? An element is a substance that cannot be broken down into any simpler substance. Example of element would be iron, gold, carbon, oxygen, silver and many other things which we can see around us. All these things are elements. Now, everything around us is made up of elements. But a question comes into mind, what are elements made up of? Here, we can see that the wall is made up of bricks. The bricks placed one after other makes up the entire wall eventually. Just like the wall is made up of bricks, in the same way the element is made up of atoms. So the answer to the question is element is made up of small particles known as atoms. Once we know that an atom is what makes up an element. The next question is, what is an atom? An atom is the smallest unit that can form an element. This was derived from the word atomic, a uh, meaning not and toymic meaning divisible. So therefore, an atom is a substance that cannot be further divided. For a long time, it was thought that atom is the smallest particle possible. So, hence the name was given atom, meaning which cannot be further divided. But then, many years later, we found that an atom is also made up of smaller particles. These particles were called proton, electron and neutron. Before we go to further learn about these particles, there is a question that if an atom is made up of electron and proton, why is an atom called the smallest unit? Why do we still say that it is the smallest unit that makes up an element and not say that it is electron and proton and neutron which makes up an element? The reason for that is that atom of an element, say gold, if broken down to form electron and proton will not be gold anymore. The reason for that is the atom of silver is different from the atom of gold. But the electron and the proton which forms the atom is not different. The, num the number of electron and proton is different. The electron which is present in the atom of silver is exactly the same as the electron which is present in the atom of gold. So, it is the number of electrons and protons which make the atoms different from each other. The number of electrons and protons in gold atom is different from the number of electrons and protons in the silver atom which makes these two atoms different. But once it is broken down to form an electron and proton, the electron and proton itself is same. Hence, atom is called the smallest particle. We will now learn a few basic properties of this particle. That is, electron, proton and neutron. We will learn about them in detail and elaborate the points we will discuss in the video later on in further videos. But for now, I will just give you a brief idea about these particles. Starting with proton. The first property is that proton has positive charge. And it is a single positive charge. One proton will add a charge of plus one. The next property is that the number of protons in the atom decide the atomic number of the element. Now I have already told what is the atomic number. It is the number which decides what element it will be. An atomic number of each element is different. 
like i discussed previously the atomic number of gold that is the number of protons in gold is different from the number of protons in silver and that is what makes these two different elements different because the protons in itself are not different the next property is that proton is heavy now when i say heavy it does not mean that it weighs 100 to 100 kg in fact the mass of proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg now this is a mass which we cannot feel at all then why do we say it is heavy it is heavy compared to the mass of other particles for example electron which is very light and the next property is proton is found at the center of the atom it occupies space at the center of the atom and that center of the atom is called the nucleus moving on to electrons an electron has a single negative charge just like a proton has a single positive charge an electron has a single negative charge meaning if an electron is added to an atom it will add to it a charge of minus 1 next we have that the number of electrons in an atom is same as the number of protons when the atom is in balanced state meaning that the number of protons that is positive charge is balanced out by the number of electrons that is negative charge they cancel each other out resulting in the atom having a balanced state if they are different numbers then the atom will be unbalanced the next is that the electron is very light it has a mass of 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg this means that its mass is 10 10000 times less than the mass of proton now we can understand why a proton is said to be heavy and finally where can an electron be found it is found orbiting the nucleus the nucleus which is the center of the atom so an electron occupies most space as it orbits the nucleus finally we have neutrons a neutron has no charge meaning adding or subtracting a neutron from a balanced atom will make no change to its state unlike adding or subtracting an electron or proton in which case the atom will become excited from a balanced state the number of neutrons is usually the same as the number of protons in the atom but that is not always the case in some cases the number of neutrons is different than the number of protons which leads to the formation of isotope of that element we will discuss what is an isotope in a little while the mass of neutron is heavy in fact it has the same mass as that of a proton which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg the neutron just like the proton can be found at the center of the atom which is the nucleus and combined with the protons it gives the atomic mass the mass of the electron is not included in the mass of the atom as it is so much lighter and it does not cause any significant change in the atomic mass but the protons and the neutrons being much heavier contribute to the atomic mass so the atomic mass of an element is the mass of the proton into number of protons plus the mass of neutron into the number of neutrons having learned about these particles let us now see how they are placed in the atom this is a very basic view of how they are placed in the atom but let's see here as i previously mentioned the proton and the neutron is right at the center with the electron circling around them now here we can see that this particular atom has one proton one neutron and one electron so the atomic number of this particular 
atom would be 1. And hence we can conclude that this is an atom of hydrogen. And we can also guess that since there is one proton and one neutron, the atomic mass of this particular atom will be 2. Before we finish, let us just discuss one more thing. That is, why do the number of protons decide the atomic number of the element and not the number of electrons or neutrons? Now, like I said previously, the number of neutrons is not always same as the number of protons. In most cases, they are same, but in some cases, they are not. Same as the number of protons. Now, these changes cause them to form isotopes of that element. What is an isotope? An isotope is an, of an element is that it has the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Like here we can see that the isotope of hydrogen in one case the hydrogen does not have a neutron. In the next case it has one proton and one neutron in which case it is the same as the number of neutron is same as the number of proton and in the third case the number of neutrons is double the number of protons there is one proton and two neutrons now in all three of these cases the number of neutrons is different but it is still hydrogen that is not changing so if we were to decide the atomic number of an element or differentiate element based on atomic number the number of neutrons then we would say that these three isotopes were different elements but that is not the case all three of them are hydrogen but they have different number of neutrons they have different masses but they are hydrogen that is why neutron is not used so we have eliminated neutrons now what about electrons like i said the number of electrons is same as the number of protons when the atom is in balanced state but the problem is that the electron can be very easily removed or added to the atom as it is very light and away from the nucleus when it is added to a balanced atom it forms an anion and when removed it forms a cation that adding or removing of electrons would cause the atom to become unbalanced but it will not change which element it is atom of it will just create an ion of that element what does this mean let me explain if we remove an electron from say sodium atom that would make it a cation of sodium but the atom is still of sodium similarly if we add an electron to say chlorine it will be an anion of chlorine but it will still be chlorine so that is why the number of electrons is not used for atomic number protons on the other hand are very heavy and present right at the center of the atom which is the nucleus it is very difficult to add or remove a proton to the atom in fact adding or removing a proton which is changing the number of protons present in an atom changes what element the atom is of hence it is clear that even when the number of electrons and neutrons change the element remains the same but if the number of protons is changed in an atom then the element of which it is atom of changes hence it is decided that the number of protons present in an atom will decide what element it is and it the number of protons is the atomic number of an element i mentioned earlier that for a long time it was thought that atom is the smallest possible particle but then these new particles proton neutron and electron were discovered so how did that happen they were discovered in a series of experiment which we will discuss in the upcoming lectures thank you for your patience and for more videos on this topic stay tuned to nss target chain